This is the porcupine basin down here. It's kind of hard to see, but you might be able to see some of it. What did you call it? The porcupine basin? Porcelain. Porcelain. It's the porcelain, <laughs> not the porcupine. You know, that's somebody who knows. Who knows? Who knows what she's talking about? But I think we're gonna go down there and check it out. I feel like I'm like Rick Steves of Yellowstone right now. But the only difference between Rick Steves and myself is I actually provide no educational value to any of this, which might be okay. down towards the rest of we're kind of down in I want to keep calling it porcupine but it's porcelain <laughs> geyser we'll see if you can actually see through my beard and everything else some of the awesome pots that are going on right here get a little reflection off of the uh, the water <clears throat> I'm hoping that snap and pop lakes are nearby because Crackling Lake is right here. So I'm just hoping that like snap, crackle, and pop. Like could just all be in this area. I just don't think they're gonna be. The sun's going down. You can see the wildfire back there too. I talked to a lady at the store. She said this is nothing compared to the fire of 86 or 88. 88. She's, you know, she was here at the general store when it happened. She said that was pretty scary. Um, actually speaking of, that lady had a great story today about balloons. They had a sign out front that said, no helium balloons. And so I asked her, I was like, okay, what's, what's the story behind the helium balloons not being able to be refilled here if you bring them out from another store into theirs? And she said it was actually for a bridal shower. And this woman brought in a large penis helium balloon and when they went to fill it up the penis blew up so this large penis blew up in this lady's face and then the lady got mad because her penis was blown up and she wasn't going to have it for the baby shower or Bright not a shower. not a baby shower Nobody, ha <laughs> nobody has large penis balloons at a baby shower, <laughs> just for the record. Well, maybe some do. So, maybe some do. If, maybe if it's a boy, you know, it's like celebrating a boy. <laughs> a boy's baby shower, you can have a giant penis at. <laughs> wow, that's really dark. So, anyways, I thought that was a great story. This little guy's right here is shooting up some pretty good spouts. I'm thinking he's giving Old Faithful a run for his money right here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to get a shower here pretty soon, too. It's probably the first, it'll be the first shower I've had in three days. Oh, and it's done. See, I think it's like on an automatic turn off switch that when you come up here, this is the VIX, and that's, that's why. Here, we'll zoom in. It was the Vixen geyser. That's why. You dirty little Vixen, you. Yep, and it's done. I'm not gonna tell anyone what, oh, see? We just go move away a little bit and the geyser starts going again. That's just the Vixen for you.